Now we're going to finish the chapter on factoring. I have to solve a new type of an equation called a quadratic equation. But hopefully you're going to find this easy. So it's a new type of an equation. It has a squared. The equations we had so far only had the highest exponent of 1. So if I have one like this, x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0. It looks like something that should be factored, so I factor it. I have x, x plus minus. I write my factors of 18 down. I have 1 times 18, 2 times 9, or 3 times 6. If I have no coefficient in front, which I don't, except I have a coefficient of 1, that's when I can ask, which pair do I add or subtract to get negative 3? So, I look at this and it's got to be 6 and 3. It matters where I put it because I have different signs. I want to get a minus 3 when I multiply. So, I take my bigger number, which is the 6, put it with the sign of the middle term. That way, when I FOIL, I'll get minus 6x plus 3x. I do get minus 3x. x times x is x squared. My last is minus 18, so everything's factored right. The difference is now I have an equation. So, this is saying that something times something equals 0. So we know in multiplication, if I said to you, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 4 is 12. If I had something times something and it equals 0, what do one of those somethings have to be, or those factors? It would have to be a 0. One could be 0, or both could be 0. That's the only way I'll get a 0. So knowing that fact, and that's called the zero product rule. That when I multiply two things and the answer is zero, one of the factors has to be zero. Again, things that are multiplied are called factors. Things that are added or subtracted are called terms. So now I have this equation and I want to solve it. So I know that this equals zero quantity or that equals zero. So I can take each factor and make it equal to 0 and solve. So if I solve this, I get x equals negative 3. If I solve this one, x minus 6 equals 0. I add 6, I get x equals 6. Because if x is 6, 6 minus 6 will give me a 0. If x is negative 3, negative 3 plus 3 will give me a 0. So I have two possible answers. I have a quadratic equation with a square. If I have an exponent of 2, there's two possible answers. So, x equals negative 3 or 6. Order doesn't matter. So, for quadratic equations, I could have written it this way. I mean, it doesn't matter. Let's try another one. Let's say I have x squared minus 9x plus 20 equals 0. I factor x, x minus minus. It's either 1 times 20, 2 times 10, or 4 times 5. Again, I have no coefficient in front, so I ask which pair, if I add or subtract, do I get a 9? Has to be 5 and 4. If I check by FOIL, x times x is x squared. Minus 5x, minus 4x gives me minus 9x, plus 20. I have it factored right. But now what's different is this is an equation. I want the values of x that makes this true. So I take each factor, x minus 4, set it to 0. Solve the equation. I get x is 4. I take this factor. I set it to 0. I solve it. I got x equals 5. So x equals 4 or 5. Now we just have to have one step up. This is the biggest step up. So let's see. If I have one like this, 
2x squared minus x equals 3. So now, I have to know that a quadratic equation has a squared. I've got my squared, and this is a minus in here. So now, the problem is, these came out so easy because they equaled 0. So if I have a quadratic equation that equals 0, fabulous. If it doesn't, I make it equal 0. So what would I do to this side to get a 0? I'd have to subtract 3. What I do to one side, I do to the other side. So I'm left with 2x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. So let's have our steps to solve a quadratic equation. There's only three steps. One, check to see if equation equals zero. If not, make it equal zero. So the first step is to check to see if the equation equals zero. If not, make it equal zero. Step two, factor. So I factor it. This one has a coefficient in front by trial and error. X, X, you have to know it's plus minus. It has to be two and one, it has to be three and one but they have to be in the right spots to get a minus 1. So I'll put my 3 here, my 1 here. Notice if I leave it like this and I FOIL, a minus 2x plus 3x will give me a plus 1x. I want a minus, so I'm off by a sign. So i got to change this one to a minus and change that to a plus. So now I have 2x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals 0. So first you've got to make sure it's factored right. I get a plus 2 minus 3 gives me a minus 1. I'm good. Third step. Set each factor to 0 and solve. So... I have 2x minus 3 equals 0. I have x plus 1 equals 0. I have to solve these equations. So I add 3. I get 2x equals 3. Divide by 2. So x is going to be 3 halves. I'm over here. I subtract 1. So x equals negative 1. So my solution x equals, doesn't matter which one I write first, minus 1 and a positive 3 halves. So they take a little practice. Good luck with Connect.